What can we do as a spin-off from that business? China, Brazil, the United States, and Europe are, are actually building uh, all kinds of products in China and in India because of the labor cost. You can imagine that uh, those companies have huge problems because of their, their, uh, their location, their geographical location. If they want to send, they cannot actually serve, give proper after-sales service to their customers because, and I'm talking about machineries, and you need spare parts, and you need those kind of things. So if we take our offshore department, which we have in Aruba, which is well organized, it is running well, and utilize that to develop businesses where we can store these parts for these companies. And I had the pleasure of talking to Volvo, which is a worldwide company, and, and told them, you know, you're all the way in Brazil and in Sweden. In our region here and in Central America, you must have problems getting your parts in the hands of people. And they said, yes. Uh, we were looking for all kinds of ways of getting it because from Brazil, cargo uh, coming to these, these regions, they're not many ships. But if they could store it here, have the administration done here and send it over uh, to the customers who buy it directly from, the, from here, it could develop quite an interesting business, which, we, of course, we have to go and market that idea. We have something else that could, could happen with it, because San Nicolas would then become, first of all, a transshipment harbor for our um, containers. It will be our industrial area, and it will be the area where we are going to develop the kind of business that I just mentioned, uh, which is serving la la large manufacturing companies out there. What I furthermore uh, want to, to share with you is that we already have the management of the offshore of, of uh, the, the offshore company. We already have a well-running harvest organization. Barcadera and Oranista fall under our upper. The refinery in San Nicolas the harbor does not fall because it's owned by Valero and managed by Valero, which means one of the first things we should do in this negotiation that's taking place now is take the harbor out of the equation if possible and have it under APAS management so that we can have uh, a place to peacefully develop this kind of business. San Nicolas has a huge amount of space which you could use to develop this business. Now I brought forward only one item. I believe that if we sit down with a group of think thinkers in Aruba in a think tank forum, we could come with many more ideas that we could do that is non-tourism, but is going to be contributed to our economic well-being. 